This is tutorial 1-1, Opening and Saving a Map Document, in the GIS Tutorial 1 Basic Workbook. Once you've launched ArcMap, you're going to see this Getting Started dialog window, and it's going to show you mapped documents that you've recently worked with, as well as allow you to browse for existing maps. You can also choose from an assortment of templates. Now, you do have the option to prevent this window from opening up every time you launch the program, but I don't suggest doing that until you're more familiar with the program. Now, as you can see under my recent, I have tutorial 1-1 as well as uh, another document, but we're going to follow with the book and we're going to click on the browse for more. And if this is your first time using the program, you're going to want to go to your C drive and you're going to see that there's an Esri Press folder. And then the map documents for this book should be in a folder called GIST1. And you will have four more folders within this with your data, your maps, your assignments, and your exercises. Open up the map folder and you're going to want to choose the tutorial 1-1 MXD. Now you can click the open button or you can just double click it and it will open. Now it should be zoomed in to the 48 states but depending on your computer monitor you might be zoomed out a little bit more and that's the case for mine. So if it doesn't look just like it does in the book that's okay. Now what do you do if you did not get that dialog box when you launch the program? It can happen, especially if you're using a computer that's shared with other people, someone might have checked that box. So to open up a map document, you're going to want to go up here to the open. And I can show you. It's this open folder right here. So if you click on that, you just browse like we did before to the Esri Press folder, GIS T1 maps and then uh, tutorial 1-1. So what was added to the program? Well as you can see we have the United States and over here in the table of contents which is located on the left hand side of the program by default you can change this if you want. You will see that we have the US states as well as another layer. Now we only see the US states and not the cities. That's because it is checked off. Now there are different views in the table of contents. There is the list by draw order. There is the list by source. The list by visibility. List by selection. And then you have some options. For this we're only really interested in the list by drawing order. We will discuss the other ones in other tutorials. So now that we have our map, what do you want to do with it? Well for this exercise we're just going to save it. So what you're going to do is I'm going to turn on the magnifier again. You want to go up to File, and then you want to go down to Save As. Then you can press the Up 1, and this will bring you back to the main folder. And then you're going to browse into the My Exercises, go to Chapter 1, and in here, you might want to change the name of this if you want to maybe my exercise 1-1 include your name that way it's not easily confused with the original so it's been saved and this is where this tutorial ends but I'm gonna go a little bit further you're going to be saving as quite a bit and as you can see up here we have a shortcut for save it's the little disk. Now what we can do is you can go up here to this little drop down and you can choose customize. And in here we can go to commands and you're going to want to scroll down until you get to the F's. Then you're going to want to find File, and then up here you want to type in Save. Now you can 
the save option is already in the toolbar. You can save a copy or you can use save as. I suggest using the save as. So you can highlight that, click it, and then drag it, and we can place it right next to our save. And this is a quick little shortcut. So now again, if we wanted to save it, we just have to go to save as. And we no longer have to go to file and then save as. So we got one less click and we're more efficient this way. In the next tutorial, you'll be learning how to work with map layers. So that concludes this video.